this point, the ground propellant feed, so all the fuel flow into the rocket has cut off. We are under 30 seconds. Autostick was initiated. Uh, now we launch command issue for ignition. And there you can see the engine starting to fire, ramping up. The second umbilical tower already separated. Engine at 80% and liftoff. Drew Foisel, Oleg Artemiev, and Ricky Arnold taking off on their way to the International Space Station. Getting a great view of those first stage engines as they light up the night sky. That first stage delivering over 930,000 pounds of thrust. 20 seconds into flight, uh, engines are steady. 20 seconds so far since liftoff, getting good calls that the stages are performing nominally or normally. Looking very bright here on camera, I can tell you when you see these at night, it's almost, it's like looking at the sun. It almost hurts your eyes, but you can't tear your eyes away from it. And yes, we are seeing you on camera one screen. Fifty seconds since liftoff, everything's still nominal or normal. So use rocket doing its job, all of the parameters or the uh, data points for its trajectory looking good, continuing to rocket across the night sky. So we're 70 seconds over a minute and 10 seconds into the flight, the vehicle already traveling at over 1,100 miles per hour. Ninety seconds into flight. So again, this first stage going to continue firing until just before the two minute mark. First, we'll hear the escape tower being jettisoned. And then following that, those strap on boosters, those four liquid fueled boosters on the first stage will be jettisoned. We should hopefully get a good view of that uh, here on the video as it is a very crystal clear night. View inside the cabin, the crew still doing good. And getting confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer here in Houston. Good first stage separation, and the escape tower has been jettisoned. That drops away at an altitude of about 28 statute miles. The Soyuz traveling at over 3,300 miles an hour. Thumbs up from the crew. All right, now we'll get this animation. You can see the core stage uh, also serving as the second stage. And so two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. What's it like inside that capsule right now? Uh, you you get some good G-forces. You know first stage was good. Uh, right there with the launch shroud jettison, that's a very dynamic event. You can see out the windows. And uh, you got thrust behind you. You're pushed back in your seat, and that makes you smile. On board, and we confirm, we also uh, confirm on launch shroud jettison. One eighty seconds into flight. Everything's still looking great for the rocket. Over 48 miles in altitude already. Uh, we are seeing, uh, Traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles per hour. That core stage, and there we go. Getting our first view of uh, Ricky Arnold there in the right seat. All smiles looking like. And we can see his zero G indicator just over his shoulder there. The hula girl for Soyuz call sign Hawaii. Copy, everything is uh, fine on board. We're feeling excellent. Also. This core stage is about 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, and provides between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust. That depending on where they are uh, in the out or in the Earth's um, atmosphere, and that continues for three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. Once this second stage has done its job, it'll cut off and we'll see the third stage begin to ignite. And then the second stage will cut away and then drop back down to Earth. And that's also why if you look at this animation just before that orange section, kind of in the middle of the rocket, there's a lattice-like structure and that allows the third stage engine to fire before that second stage drops away. 
but four minutes, 20 seconds since liftoff. Everything still continuing to go great with the Soyuz getting good performance calls uh, from the teams over in the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov. Prior to second stage separation, copy by canoe lead, we're standing by. And so while they continue to fly uphill, I've always I've always wanted to ask when we get those in cabin views, it almost looks boring for the crew in there. Like it it it, it almost looks like there's not a whole lot going on, but it's got it's gotta feel completely different when you're sitting in that seat. It feels completely different when you're in that seat. There is nothing boring about this phase of spaceflight at all. This is about as exciting as it comes. Uh landing is a Maybe a bit more interesting, uh, but this is as exciting as it comes. Copy. All right, well, all the crew inside. Again, NASA astronauts Drew Foisel and Ricky Arnold and Oleg Artemiev, the Soyuz commander there in the center seat. Over five minutes and 23 seconds into their flight. Keep an eye on all of those different uh, talismans hanging over them. Once that third stage cuts off, you should see those start to float, and then that'll be kind of the, your, your first view of life and microgravity. Excellent, in, and in celebration mood. Copy. 340 seconds into flight. Copy. And uh, um, combustion chamber pressure is nominal. Copy. And so at this point, the second stage booster is already cut away. That coming at an altitude of about 105 miles, now being propelled by that single engine of the third stage, providing 67,000 pounds of thrust. It's going to continue to burn for four minutes and two seconds until that eight minute and 45 second post-launch mark, at which point it will cut away and separate, and the spacecraft will be in orbit. Everything on board is fine. Dan, everybody's always asking what it feels like inside when you launch. And in the lower right of this uh, schematic here, you can see it almost looks like a zigzag pattern there, uh, a jigsaw pattern. But it, that's the G-load that the crew is feeling. That's, that's what's pushing them back in their seats. So you can see first stage goes up to 4G. And then when first stage cuts out, there's that huge vertical drop off. And then second stage builds up as the fuel weight reduces. And then there's a another vertical drop off. And now they're they're painting a new line on third stage, so they're they're not even at two times uh, Earth's gravity right now. So they're just gently being pushed back in their seat, just enough to know that that engine is running. Those are pretty quick drop-offs. They're instantaneous drop-offs, so you definitely feel those. Those are very dynamic phases of, of the ascent. All right, well, still getting good calls, normal performance of this third stage engine. We're about seven and a half minutes into the flight, velocity approaching 13,500 miles an hour. Again, once that third stage is done with its job, the Soyuz will separate, and then they'll execute a series of commands, all pre-programmed in, to prepare the Soyuz to fly around in outer space. And those will allow uh, all the onboard computers to deploy the um, the solar arrays, which you can see the blue cells folded up alongside the body and also a bunch of antennas. But everything's still looking great. We should have about 40 seconds until that third stage cutoff. Nominal on board, and uh, uh, the crew mood is festive. And uh, you have 30 seconds uh, uh, prior to third stage separation. Copy. 500 seconds into flight, everything is nominal. Five hundred and ten seconds into flight. Five hundred and twenty uh, seconds into flight. Please uh, be prepared for GECA 3 command. We are ready. And there we see that bit of a jolt. You can see the talisman starting to float, and I think they're in outer space now. Uh, 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 Welcome to low Earth orbit. Congratulations with the successful launch and insertion into orbit. Have an excellent flight. flight. Good luck. And we have confirmation the third stage has shut down and separated.
Hawaii, Moscow. And getting confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer, all solar arrays and antennas have been deployed. So a healthy Soyuz spacecraft now in orbit. Three crew members, Drew Foistel, Ricky Arnold, and Oleg Artemiev, ready to chase down the International Space Station.